Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about compound inequalities. We're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, r plus 5 is greater than or equal to 12, or r over 9 is less than 0. Okay? So now we want to solve each inequality individually. Okay, let's make sure I have everything. Good. So I'm going to subtract a 5 to both sides in this one, leaving me r by itself is greater than or equal to 12 minus 5, which is 7. Or, this one here, I'm going to multiply 9 to both sides, leaving me r by itself, and 0 times 9 is 0. So now I have r is greater than or equal to 7, or r is less than 0. So when I make my number line here, I'm going to make sure I encompass both those numbers, 0 and 7. So let's put the 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and negative 1, negative 2. Okay. Well, they told us here that r is greater than or equal to 7. So I have a closed circle at 7. And so the r can be greater than that, so I'm going to put my arrow to the right. The other one, what r could be, is r is less than 0, so it's not equal to 0, so I have an open circle at 0. And it's less than 0, so I have to put my arrow to the left. And there we have it. We have our graph here that represents our compound inequality, which is r is greater than or equal to 7, or r was less than 0. Okay? So let's recap. We're given r plus 5 is greater than or equal to 12, or r over 9 is less than 0. I solved each inequality individually by subtracting 5 to both sides for this one, giving me r is greater than or equal to 7. And this one here, I multiply by 9 to both sides, giving me r is less than 0, because 0 times 9 is 0. So r's were both isolated for both parts. I now graph each one individually. R was greater than or equal to 7, so I put a closed circle at 7, and we put an arrow to the right because we said R was greater than 7. Then it's, uh, R is less than 0, so I have an open circle at 0 because R is not equal to 0. And I put my arrow to the left because we said R is less than that 0. So now we have our graph here that represents and matches our final compound inequality, which is R is greater than or equal to 7, or R was less than 0. 